What is up, goons, gangsters, and gamers? It is your boy, the Good Sir Knight. Today we're going to be reviewing the Velocity Systems Boss Rugby Style uh, shirt, tactical shirt. This is the short sleeve version to make a long sleeve for those so inclined who wish to keep the sun off of their arms as well. Feels a lot hotter, generally gonna keep you cooler outside. Anyway, this shirt's made of this crazy breathable material which unfortunately I've read is affected by pilling and all that. So if you put it through the wash or it gets in contact with Velcro and stuff, it's gonna get pretty nasty. So this shirt, incredibly lightweight, really comfy. The second you put it on, it's got that super cool feel to it. So you're like, ah, yeah, this is the shirt for this insanely hot and humid weather. So I actually wore this out of town a few times just to get more of a feel for it and without the patches, because people look at you like you're a crazy person if you're wearing too many patches. And I'm already at like three just on the shirt and hat alone, so we're already up there. But um, comfy shirt, well, really comfy shirt, honestly. It does have to be tucked into the pants for when we're wearing tactical pants like these, because if you're using the uh, two-piece belt with the Velcro and stuff, the uh, Velcro will absolutely shred the shirt. It was already sticking to it, just putting on the pants, so I'd hate to think what that would do over the entire course of a day. But if you're wearing a more simple, basic gun belt, then you can actually wear it on the outside or if you're just wearing a belt in general. A lot better open, because it also gives you a bit more breathability going on there. So, key features, you got this cool little collar here. Gives you just a little bit of protection up on the shoulders. Not too much. These, po these uh, pockets actually have no uh, spiky Velcro, because again, spiky Velcro is the devil when it comes to this shirt. You don't want your patches touching anything that's not also Velcro. Same on this side. So it really just pops open. You got more of the same material on the inside. It gives you two little pockets on the side so you can carry any like small things like dip cans and stuff. You still have plenty of room. So definitely uh, more of a range day or quick urban operations because you don't have any of that really durable aramid or whatever condora material you'd have on your sleeves and stuff of like combat shirts or field jackets and stuff like that. This material here. It's really scratch resistant. This is probably going to get like caught up on stuff and cause you problems. But it is a lot more breathable, so less sweating, less dehydration, less need to carry water. So pros and cons, kind of take your pick. It's also really comfy with a matching hat. So you take all that and let's try the fit out with a plate carrier real quick. So we're going to throw this guy on here. There we go. And it's going to give you a bit of uh, protection up on the... Um, those are the shoulder pads and stuff, so those aren't going to be like cutting into your skin or anything too crazy. And that's nice, easy attached. Collar's still up there. That should also give us some decent protection for our sling. So you grab your blaster, throw that on there, grab our hat. Gotta keep that sun off your head, you know? And bam, there you go. So that, uh, if we do it right. Probably shouldn't require that much thought, but yeah, you get that little bit. You want to pull the collar just a wee bit, and that's going to give you your little bit of sling protection. Not a lot. It's definitely still coming up onto the back of the uh, the neck, where it's a bit more exposed, but it's nothing too crazy. It would be uh, remedied with the usual uh, G3 combat shirts and stuff from Cry, but this is a lot more lightweight, easy peasy, almost contractor looking sort of design to it. So everything's really comfy and light. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go. That's all there really is to it. So, shirt fits with plate carrier. Looks pretty good with plate carrier, actually. Good old Benjamin. Well, how far forward? The sleeves are also like, uh, the pockets are canted forward, so they're easier access to. I don't think the, uh, I think the, I'm used to the pockets being a bit more to the right side. The forward is actually really nice. It's a nice change of pace. I like it a lot, so. Got your cool little shirt so you can throw on your safety goggles. Always wear safety goggles and then go to the range and you're all set. Good. Go to the range. Ah, da, 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 da. Die, paper target. Actually, there you are. Ah, die, paper target. Da, 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 da. Like you do. And you're going to stay a lot cooler and not be sweating to death. So, pros and cons. Um, hopefully, that collar will help keep bullets out because no one wants to get hot brass up on their shoulders and all that fun stuff. I fortunately never encountered it, but I've seen people scream. <laughs> yeah, so. If you need a lightweight, comfy shirt, really good option there. It is a bit, not really flared out at the bottom, but fits really comfy when you're not wearing crazy operator pants. However, I'm too lazy to edit. My editor's sick, so uh, I'm just going to have to take my word for that one. So, that's all I got for you guys. Cheers, stay chivalrous, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.